box of guns for us. I don't care where they came from. I'm starting to wonder if I made the right choice by revealing what we are. Sure you did. It was time. I do not understand. Aren't the Griffin Rock citizens willing to keep our secret? Most of them, yeah. But the mayor and a few other people might not be on board. That's why Dad called this meeting. All it takes is one person to talk. Next thing you know, the whole world is coming to gawk at us. Or worse. Hey, if humans suddenly showed up on your planet, you might not take kindly to it either. The people on Griffin Rock are used to... Weirdness? I was going to say advanced technology. Danny's right. People are accepting here. Look at all the great welcome gifts everybody's given us. What I believe humans refer to as fruit baskets. I don't have the spark to tell them we don't eat. <laughs> They're still learning about you. It might take a while. All right, quiet down, please. Everyone will get a chance to express their opinion, starting with Mayor Lusky. Uh, thank you, Chief Burns. A fellow citizens, Griffin Rock is poised on the verge of a wonderful tomorrow. A tomorrow full of tourists coming to our island to see the rescue bots. We'll be the number one destination in the world. New hotels, new shops, new economic opportunities. Mayor, may I say why I think that's a bad idea? If people beyond our island find out, it could do untold damage, both to Griffin Rock and to the bots. Now, now why should we care about them? They're aliens! Milo, seeing as how they just saved you from aliens, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, how do we know they weren't working together? Huh? Conspiracy! The bots should be forced from Griffin Rock now! Oh! Yeah! Oh! 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 Cody. Uh, maybe we should see what the bots have to say. Hello, my name is Blades, and I'm an alien. Hi, Blades! I have a little speech prepared to- Perhaps, as our leader, Heatwave should be our spokesperson. Me? Uh, well, um, all we really want is to be left alone, to do our jobs. What the? What Heatwave means is, we've grown to know most of you pretty well, and now it's your turn to get to know us. Uh, as long as it does not interfere with our original mission, to learn to work with humans while protecting them. And becoming a tourist attraction would make both those jobs hard. Um, yeah, that's what I meant. And if the rest of the world were to find out about us, it could result in our assignment coming to an end. We would have to leave Earth for good. <gasps> no, 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 why should we have to go? Stay Looks crazy. like public sentiment is on the bot side, Mr. Mayor. Well, yes, but... Oh, pshaw! Back in the old days when we did things the democratic way, any courageous mayor would have put this up to a vote. That's a great idea. What? Well, no one can say that H.P. Lusky is unfair. We'll have a vote tomorrow, same time, right here. And before that, if any of you have any questions about where we came from or who we are... Yeah, we could have a sort of get-to-know-your-bots session. What do you say, guys? I have been wanting to get gardening tips from Mrs. Rubio. Everyone is invited to spend time with the bots tomorrow morning before the vote. Until then, we'll keep their secret. Right, Huxley? I... Okay. It is not okay! Vote or no vote, Griffin Rocks is not big enough for four giant robots and us! My emergency shelter in the woods is stocked and ready for a situation just like this. Who's with me? Da. Ah. You'll be sorry when they start eating you! Okay, we have to make them understand we don't eat. Grant, Boulder, clear the hatch! Blades, lower away! Are you all right? Oh, look at all the dirt you let fall! 
You're, You're welcome. welcome. Hey, now I can be as snarky to everybody as you are. Maybe this out in the open stuff isn't so bad, huh? Worth reconsidering. So I guess that means you'll be chipping in tomorrow. Glad to hear it. Kids love fire truck rides. Oh. Mr. Bunty, are you from Griffin Rock or did you settle here? Though we may come from different planets, our respect for law and order binds us. Here then are some safety rules garnered from different systems we visited. <sighs> Who wants to go inside a bot? That's right, step right up, one at a time, please. Join the Blades the Copter Bot fan club, free of charge. Free photo of yours truly. <sighs> free rides. Who wants to ride in a helicopter? Oh, I do, I like to fly. Attention, please. It's time for the big vote. See you all in City Hall. Okay. Folks, please. Uh, has everyone had a chance to see the plan? All right, people, stop talking. Before we vote on this, I just want to say one thing. These rescue bots might be aliens, and they might be big and clumsy. Who is she calling clumsy? But they've kept our biscuits from burning time and time again. They've earned the right to keep their secret. We owe it to him. And Mr. Pettipaws will fight anybody who says differently. <sighs> well then, all in favor of keeping the bot secret and saying goodbye to economic opportunity and a new era in Griffin Rock, raise your hand. Him. Put up keeping my eyes on you. Well, there's no fighting a rising tide. Mr. Prescott? As a journalist, I'm impartial. All right, all right. I won't file my story. <sighs> Goodbye, Network News. Then it's decided. We will all help keep the bot secret from the rest of the world. On behalf of them, I just want to say thank you and... Oh, Chief. We can speak for ourselves now. In fact, I have a speech prepared. Thanks, everyone. We're depending on you now, just like you can still depend on us. We will continue our mission as we always have. The only difference is that you may now feel free to interact with us on a personal level. Not too personal. Oh, I don't mind. We can all get as personal as you want. Pictures for everybody! Hi. 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 Hi.